Hello and welcome to What I Eat in a Week. We've got a busy week ahead of us, so let's get it going. This is a blueberry waffle and a cinnamon waffle. I don't necessarily have all that time to like savor my food because I want to upload a video because I normally upload on like Sundays, but I haven't been able to because it's just, I don't make the time nor have the time <laughs> to edit all the time. So, oh, I said time way too many times. Oh my, it doesn't look all that pretty. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm gonna get groceries soon, but this is what we're starting off with. It's like, you know what's bad when I don't even have frozen fruit? Like that's why I have the apple because I have no frozen fruit. I like the blueberry waffle because it's still soft, but a little crispy. Because I have to like cook everything either in the microwave or the air fryer. I prefer the air fryer. And these ones do a great job of being like the right amount of crisp and softness. Alrighty, I'm gonna finish this and then edit. I'm going to eat some chips and guac because yesterday I got free guac from Tijuana Flats just because I came in I'm just like, hey, like, can I get a small thing of guac? And I was at the end and they let me, so I really appreciate that because I didn't have any guac and I couldn't go to any other place because they were closed. I thought I was going to eat that last night. I didn't, so I'm going to eat now. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I love chips and guac. Hello from the voice in the sky and behind the mic. If you watched my last What I Eat Week, you know that it wasn't the healthiest, but it was realistic and that's why I posted it. Things change every week, especially being in college. And this time around, I wanted to focus on being a little bit healthier. I focused on really working out my body in ways that felt good, like weightlifting, running, dancing, all that good stuff. I've been running more often because it makes me feel good. And I honestly just want to get back to that endurance that I used to have in high school where I could run seven miles on the regular, but I'm not like that anymore. I don't want to get to it. Plus this week, I also wanted to eat more veggies and meals at home, but I needed groceries. So that is what I did right after the gym. I haven't gone grocery shopping in two weeks. I don't have tofu, I don't have spinach, I don't have frozen fruit, I have nothing. And it's time for me to go grocery shopping. And I decided, yes, Pamela, I decided to make myself look a little bit presentable. Not really, but like, you see, I even got boots on. I had nothing in my fridge. And my fridge looks disgusting. Not, you know what, I'll show you. So these are free apples that someone gave me. So that is my only fruit. And then all this stuff. Just in the mess. Yeah. Really good. No good popsicles, no fruit, no nothing. Don't get me wrong, I know I have food. Like I understand I have food, but when it comes to actually making a meal that I'll enjoy, I don't have any, like I don't have everything to make it enjoyable. I don't got all the stuff that I need. I just filmed a couple TikToks and shorts of everything I got at these places, and it's a lot. <laughs> like, I spent right around, like, a little bit under $100, and it's a lot of stuff. <laughs> wow, like, literally food inside the sink right now. Yeah, time to put this all away. So this meal looks a little weird, but I promise it's gonna taste delicious. It's a mix of, like, some of my leftovers from yesterday, but I also added in some tofu, more vegetables, everything. Happy food dance, happy food dance, happy, happy food dance. Mm -hmm. Uh, 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 you are this not paying attention. This is literally the most important scene of the show, and you're, you're <laughs> Good morning, I'm hungry. Yeah, trick, yeah. Whippin' nay nay, whippin' nay nay. I'm gonna have some waffles, I'm sorry. So I would have made this clip a good old ASMR, but I was watching streamers who play escape room like always and they were just screaming in the background, so it wouldn't have worked out. Anywho, this yogurt bowl is great. I eat it all the time. And honestly, if you haven't tried it yet, you need to. Like I'm telling you, you need to. And I got a code for the protein powder if you ever want to use it, just saying like, it's right there. That's the code, Um, yeah, I love you. I'm excited to eat this. I'm hungry, I'm hungry. I've been eating a lot of waffles right lately. Last what I eat in a week, I ate so much toast, but now I'm just like obsessed with waffles. One of my classes, I have to eat mindfully, so that's what I'm gonna be doing for the next 23 days. Every like Monday through Friday, every meal, I'm gonna eat mindfully without watching TV, which is kind of difficult. The camera helps because I get to like still talk, which I mentioned to them, I'm like, I will be okay with like talking to other people, just not like watching TV. Cause when I'm watching TV, I'm like, mm, this is so good, it gets intense. The food's gone. Food's instantly gone. <laughs> Put some yogurt on the waffle. Mm-hmm. I'm having a little bit more puffins. I really like the cereal. Like it's kind of plain, but it has a little bit of sweetness to it, so it's perfect. And I haven't tried the peanut butter flavor, but I just know it has to be good. Mm. 
I'm back from PT. I just cooked up myself some quick food. And I'm gonna pack it up. I'm gonna go to the UF bookstore to get like a blue book that I need for my exam and then also study and then right after that go to class then go to training all that good stuff I'm thinking about signing up for a shift at work from six to eight I don't know because I'm not working this this weekend so I might as well what I made myself was tofu vegetables corn and then quinoa and brown rice and I got myself some snacks and water. The latter half of this day was a bit confusing and jam-packed, but I'm gonna explain it. Basically, it was Mardi Gras, so the school had to make your own mass station, which I did, and I think it turned out pretty cute. Then I heated up my food in the microwaves that we had, and while I was there, I studied for my midterm exam, which was going to be the next day. After that, I went to group fitness instructor training, which I didn't show, but I mean, I did it. <laughs> and I studied some more outside before heading off to work, and right after work, I worked out on the elliptical, and when I finally got home, Gio brought me some food because he knew I was studying and I hadn't eaten yet. So I ate one of the slices of pizza that he got me, then I also ate vegetables with pesto, and later on at night, I had yogurt parfait thing as a snack. Okay, so I haven't spoken to y'all, but I'm back home from taking a test, teaching a workout class, and having my own little workout. It's a lot that I've done without you. Sorry for not telling you. Yeah, I'm gonna make lunch now. I'm gonna heat up some vegetables like last night. Basically, I teach total body classes every Wednesday, and for my class, I taught all of it. It wasn't my actual mentor, but a sub that was grading me and she like gave me some feedback, which she said overall was really good. Just the timing was a little bit hard and like the cues at first weren't good, but now I'm getting better. I'm like, alrighty everybody, you gonna feel it in that bicep? Yeah, we're gonna change that move in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Yeah, I really like teaching total body. I wanna like audition for other formats, but I just, haven't really like thought that much into it you know they've made us so focused on one format that i haven't really thought about like how i want to try out for like cycle or stadium or anything like that i think i'm gonna eat the pizza that geo gave me i still have like two slices left he knew i was like studying for my exam and i hadn't eaten yet which i really appreciate my exam was this morning 9 30 and i'm pretty sure i got at least like two questions wrong which is still good and it wasn't that hard because I studied a lot. Granted, I only studied yesterday and like a little bit before that, but I studied like every single chapter, every reading we had, every article. What do you guys want to eat? Like, I have the vegetables and the pizza, but I feel like there's something else like I need. I said my face bomb abs tight rack. What does she say? I said my face bomb abs tight racks like a shack right running on it last night. I've been here since last night. Hitting with that good, good makeup. Act right, broke boys don't deserve no kitty. I know that's right. Big bad boss it up and I have three assignments due today. Three for the same class and also a quiz on videos I haven't watched. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be super fun. But for now, I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna eat and watch Elite. I just started watching Elite. I have thoughts on it. You know, maybe one day I'll like just like talk about all my thoughts on TV shows because I've got a couple of them. You know what I'm saying? So this is my lunch for today looking like a good balance of like semi-healthy, semi-not, but also like perfect for me. I got myself some pizza, the cauliflower crust pizza that Gio gave me, and some vegetables that I just air fried. And some are burnt, just don't look at them, it's fine. <laughs> but I'm really excited to eat this. So sadly, I have to stick with eating mindfully today as well. <laughs> it's really not my thing to eat mindfully. We got pizza, we got pizza, we got pizza. We got pizza and we got pizza, 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 mm, mm, mm. When it comes to pizza, what's your favorite order? Like what are your favorite toppings and everything? I like marinara sauce. I don't need vegan cheese on it. Like it's fine, but I don't necessarily need it. But I get like, when I go to Blaze Pizza, I put so many vegetables. I'm like, so the, be the peppers, the spinach, the onions, the garlic, the broccoli, like everything. I put everything that's like a vegetable on my pizza because I just like it, like it tastes good to me. Especially when like toppings aren't extra and I can put as many as I want, why not? Also, don't click off, but I'm a fan of pineapple on pizza. I just had to say it, I just had to say it. I'm a fan of pineapple on pizza. I stand by it, it is very good. I don't understand people who eat anchovy pizza. Like I don't get it. I never wanted to eat it when I did eat meat. I don't want to eat it now, obviously. Like, it just sounds so unappealing. But you know what you do? You do you, boo. I'm just saying. Pineapple versus anchovies, sardines. Like, eh, I think pineapple's better. <laughs> also, I've seen people put corn on pizza. That doesn't sound bad at all either. Don't click out. Don't click out. Even if you are, just subscribe before you leave. But like, <laughs> I'm just saying my opinion, but if you want to tell me your opinions on pizza, what you like, comment down below. I want to see pizza orders down there, okay, everyone? Even if it's just marinara and cheese. I want to hear it.
Look at this beautiful plate. I got strawberries, a date, and peanut butter. It's looking rather delicious. The only thing that's strange to me is this. Hello? Like, I understand how, how strawberries grow. I get it. This is just really weird to me because this has never happened to me. Oh my god, these are kind of cute though. Oh my god, look at it. That's kind of cute. So this is from my new collection, Fresa Mesa. It means um, strawberry table, but it sounds really good in Spanish. So yeah, it's part of my collaboration with Insert Jewelry Company here that every YouTuber um, has a partnership with. Aren't they cute? They're kind of dangly, kind of long, and like kind of chunky, but like I love it like that. And then like you can eat them too. Super delicious. <laughs> It, it was pretty cute, but I'm pretty sure there are strawberry earrings already made. But as dangly and as big as this, no. That's why you need to get the Fresa Mesa. Mm-hmm. Hey, y'all. I'm back from mass. If you can't tell, it's Ask Wednesday when I'm filming this. I still have a lot of schoolwork to do, so I'm going to be cramming that out. But I wanted to eat some chips and some guac. I'm also going to eat some corn nuts. Now hear me out here before you realize what I'm going to eat right now. I don't necessarily feel hungry for a genuine dinner. I had my tortilla chips and the corn nuts and the guac and i just want something quick and easy while i go back to doing my work and <laughs> it's this <laughs> it is basically mango puffins a half of a like gluten-free chocolate chip cookie a little bit of yogurt and some strawberries nothing crazy honestly like i i know i pretty much have been eating like yogurt every single day like twice but it's what i want and i enjoy it very simple essentially very easy for me to eat quickly and then I can get back to my work. But some days you need something quick to eat and something that you like actually want to eat. You don't have to cook for like 30 minutes. I've decided I don't really want to eat this cookie. Maybe I'll eat it tomorrow. Not in the mood. I might have more yogurt though. <laughs> A little bit more puffins, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Good morning, everyone. It's currently seven o'clock. I'm going to go work an opening shift right now. Because someone offered an extra ten dollars to pick up their shift and I was like Psh, you already know I get paid extra for working where I'm gonna get paid. Yeah. Yeah <laughs> The person already gave me the ten dollars after like picking up the shift because like, it's really hard to get rid of a shift that you picked up Hey sit spoken to y'all yet i just am now leaving pt however i have class literally in 30 minutes i do not have time to eat at work i ate an apple and some of those peanut snacks that i showed you guys but that's literally it i'm hungry but i need to go to class and then i have a class after that and then i have um my like group fitness instructor practice audition so i have a lot but i'm just not going to go to my second lecture because it's on zoom and i can just watch it through there i am i live i look disgusting I'm incredibly hungry. I'm making myself some just eggs, some toast, vegetables, all that good stuff. Giving my body some actual food. First off, don't my food look delicious? Second off, Pamela, what are you doing here? <laughs> hi, Pamela. Say hi. <laughs> Do you see her? My gosh. Here we are. I really don't want to eat mindfully, but I will. I just don't want to. This morning, she put her nail in my nose to like wake me up. And I'm like, girl, girl, that is not where the gold is. Whatever. Tastes good. I would like the toast to have like something else other than just butter. Normally I put avocado, but I don't have any avocado. So I'm trying pesto. A little bit of pesto. Need some of these potatoes. I'm happy I have food now. Like I'm genuinely so happy I have food now because I was I was not myself. Like we were talking about the midterm exam and going over it in discussion. And I was like, please, I want to leave. I want to leave. Mm. 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 Now I'm going to eat the cookie from yesterday. It's their vegan gluten-free cookie. Like, perfect. Literally perfect. And nut-free. They did something good with this, you know? Ugh, so bright. He donated blood. Look at him. <laughs> Forgot to mention Gio got me like a smoothie. It's the ritual. What are you guys doing? Oh my god, we have so much food that we're sharing. Holy shit. This is we are all sharing. <laughs> we're all sharing. <laughs> And then Gio's chicken. I'm not sharing anybody. Well, we can't eat it. Wait, wait, wait. Literally, none of us can eat it.
everyone, it is a good day to be a good day. It is time for me to make some breakfast. I've decided I'm gonna make myself, ooh, heaven peeking in. I decided I'm gonna make myself some eggs with some vegetables, potatoes, everything, all the good stuff. <laughs> yummy, 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 gummy bears. Oh, wow. Y'all, that breakfast was so good. That shit was delicious. I'm gonna wait, <clears throat> hello? I'm gonna wait a bit to eat something else because I'm still a little bit like peckish, but I'll probably just have like a snack. Oh my God, it's already 12 o'clock. Wow, the day has flown by. I woke up later because I stayed up late being with like all my friends and stuff. And then I had to go to class like on Zoom at 1040. So yeah, it's kind of late. <laughs> I have work in two hours. So you know what? I guess I'm just gonna have my snack either at work or before work. I gotta go to work right now, but I know I'm gonna want a snack, so I'm probably gonna make myself a little yogurt bowl before I leave. But let me get dressed first. Doesn't this look cute though? Do I look kinda bad, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I cannot be late, but here it is. Fruit and peanut butter, yogurt. Alrighty everyone, so the Misfits Market packages came in, you know? I've got a little bit of an unboxing for you, but it's about food. It's a food unboxing. So it relates to the what I eat in a week. <laughs> so basically my issue with Misfits was that they have this thing where every week they give you like food and your cart has to be $30 for them to send you the food. So I made sure my cart was less because I was like, I just bought groceries, I don't need it. Last week, last week I made sure it was $10 in the cart just so I knew like what items I would want next time. And apparently what they do is every Sunday, they kind of reset your cart and then put eight to 10 items that everyone likes that like are really good sellers that just happen to be over $30, which means they will immediately send it out. So I was like, hell no. So I sent it like, I sent like a request. I'm like, hey, like you guys should have sent me a message on Sunday or something saying like, like, hey, we're gonna check your card, check your cart one more time. Cause that's what every other subscription thing I've ever had does. They tell you right before they're gonna charge your card. They go like, hey, if you wanna add on to the order, if you wanna like do something else, to get something else do that so if you want to cancel it because what the, the message they sent me was like oh your box has been shipped and, and my card was charged and I was like you ha you cannot do this like please like, I don't even want the food anymore like it's fine and they're like we can't turn it we can't like take the food back but we're gonna refund you and like there's a ten dollar credit if you like uncancel your subscription with us will I uncancel it I don't know because also a lot of the stuff was like basic things like okay seven different types of avocados like why literally why Oh, wait, why is there more things in here than what I expected? Uh-oh. Am I dumb? Let me read this better, hold on. Oh God, this isn't mine. Oh shit. I gotta bring this one back. Okay, on to the next box. Cause like, I saw both of them and they're like, yeah, like these are for you. Oh, let me put back for chocolate too. See, but Emma got good stuff. She got like bars and stuff, things that you actually use it for. These bitches sent me cilantro, freaking loose leaf spinach, little brown. This sweet kale chopping salad kit, which looks good. Like a bunch of avocados and a bunch of citruses. So these are like the mandarins, which I will eat. I will say, I will be eating those. And then like these big oranges, these avocados, like the small Hass avocados. Then they also sent me two big avocados. Then this is the freezer pack that melted because they didn't let us know that they were ready. And I think these are beets which I won't be eating, but I'll bring this all back home and like give to my mom. But that's my little, un, like, not satisfying haul. <laughs> at least I got oranges. Okay, so I went and returned the other box. Apparently the mailman just probably like left it, didn't tell them about like whose it is or whatever, and they like didn't check because they didn't send either of us a text message. So I'm like, oh, like you should probably send her a text message. Like let her know it's here because it is food. And I thought it was mine. So I'm now, the next unboxing and last one is new running shoes. Oh my God. Look at them, look at all that. I just wanted black because, I mean, my white ones, they look white right now, but if you really look up close, they're not white. And there's no tread to them anymore. Like, bro, how it's supposed to be, and how it is now. Like, expectation versus reality. So now I have new running shoes for when I go to running club. I won't be going today, so I don't feel like it. Mm. Oh, these fit perfect, these actually fit perfectly. Like, I have enough space for my foot, and like my sides aren't hurting too, oh my God. Yes! How do I look? Simplistic, simple, little black, little black on a little black. <laughs> Thank you to Gio though, because he purchased them for me as a gift, which I appreciate. So, yeah, he's a great boyfriend, and I'm gonna show him some pictures of it now.
I'm walking to the gym now after my bus freaking sped past it. I should have pressed the cord. I just didn't realize this man was going so damn fast. The gym closes in 30 minutes, so I won't get that much of a workout in, but it's something. They're closing early for spring break, which makes sense. Play it in the car at a party, show your friends it's the best of all. Get the old score out the way, you know what's getting played. Hit the play, I spin every day. And they made a radio song, knowing that we'll sing along when we hear it on. They made a radio song, knowing that we'll sing along, we'll sing along. Hello everyone, I'm back in Miami. I'm sorry that I didn't film everything yesterday. I honestly just didn't really feel like it because I was on the road driving, we were eating some snacks and stuff. I was having fun with my friends and my family when I got here. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see anything else similar to this or whatever you guys are feeling. And feel free to subscribe and leave a like down below because I really like having more people in our little community and our little family. I bid you adieu, au revoir, adios, and aloha. Bye, I'll see you next time. Hit them with that good good. Make up. act right. Rock boys, no dessert, no kitty. I know that's right. Ho ho, ho ho, huzzah! Ah. God, <laughs> I literally feed you eight thousand times a day.